Hey curl friends, welcome back to the Prison Frills channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss any of my curly tutorials, tips, and tricks. If you are watching this video, I have a feeling that you are either A, going on vacation to somewhere warm, maybe tropical, maybe two, you live in a humid environment, and three, maybe you're just curious about what products have the most Hold. We're going to be talking about my favorite products made for anti-humidity, blocking out all that frizz that we hate when we go on vacation or just are around intense humidity. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, a few of these products actually came on the market in the last year. I have talked about anti-humidity, humidity blocking type of products before, but because there are so many new ones that came out over 2021 and now into 2022, figured this was a really good video to help you guys out, especially as you might be going on spring break vacations. I think this is just a really good timing for you guys. And I did test out a few products on our vacation that we went on a couple weeks ago, which was down in the Dominican Republic. It was a great time, but Ooh, the humidity, y'all. I can't even explain. My hair is such high porosity that it just like grabs every little bit of humidity that it can and soaks it right up. And so for like multiple days, I just felt like my hair was like permanently in like a wet, soggy state. Like not okay, <laughs> not okay. So I did test out a few new products for you guys while I was down there and I've been testing out a lot as I've been going on vacations and I'm gonna be doing more over the next few months. We've got a trip to Miami coming up in a couple weeks and I'm going back to Belize. So I'm gonna be testing out more and more as we go, but Let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna break it down into different product types. First, we're gonna go into curl creams. Then one of the most important for anti-humidity is gels. And then we'll go into kind of refresher type products and finally oils. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to try to avoid is the ever so wonderful slash awful glycerin. Okay, so in humid climates, what glycerin does is it is a humectant. So it's going to pull all that moisture from the air and pull it into your hair. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause your follicle to swell. And when your follicle swells, that causes frizz, okay? And this is gonna be more prominent in high porosity curls like mine. So if you've done a lot of processing to your curls, bleach, heat, etc., you probably have higher porosity curls. So let's talk about something that is a little bit more emollient oil-based versus something that is more glycerin and normally frizz inducing. Number one, and one of my most favorites to bring on vacation is this one from Briogeo. This right here, this is called their Chia and Flaxseed Coil Custard. Now I will say this is going to be on the heavier side. So make sure you use less unless you need all that hydration and all that moisture. Like I do, I do have a very thick and dense hair texture with the high porosity. So like my curls just really eat up all the moisture. So this right here, and actually this is empty. <laughs> this is like, legit empty completely empty right now I gotta go buy some more but so this one right here it is no it does not have silicone so if you are very strong on that I do not really care whether it has silicones or not I actually think silicones can be really helpful for super humid type climates because it's another ingredient that's gonna help block that out but when we're looking at ingredients for something that is gonna go into a super humid climate I like to see something that has stronger oils and butters okay because those are gonna be a emollients that are going to block out the humidity. So when I look at the top of the ingredients on here, number one, we have castor seed oil. Then we have ceteral alcohol. This is not a dehydrating alcohol. This is actually a hydrating alcohol. There is a difference. If you'd like me to go into that further, we could totally do like a deep dive into that. Let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would like. But as we're going through here, yes, glycerin is in here, but the oils are higher on the ingredient list, which tells me that it's going to be more of an emollient base. And I know this from just the thickness and texture of this product, that it is more emollient and oil based. So this also does have a little bit of a balance of some proteins in it, which I actually really like as well. So I try to add one styling product in my routine that has a little bit of protein to give me that little bit of extra balance. You're also going to see ingredients in here like shea butter, also a really fantastic emollient. You're also gonna see ingredients like avocado oil, linseed oil, salvia, 
Hispanica seed oil, which I'm not really sure what that is, but there are a lot of oils in here. So this is very, very hydrating. It's not gonna cause as much frizz. Now, another one that I really liked also, I'm sensing that I need to go through and buy some more stuff. This one's also empty. This is from Bounce Curl. Okay, as you can see right here, this is their avocado and rose oil clump and define cream. Oh my gosh, so good. Even if you're in a dry climate, this is phenomenal. And I would say that as well for this one. This one right here, if we go to their ingredients, you're gonna have water, satirical alcohol. Those tend to be very top ingredients in a lot of creams. And then you're gonna see avocado oil. And then you're gonna see some aloe, which is a little bit of humectant. So keep that in mind. But again, oil was before the humectant, okay? So then we also have in here, let's just talk about some of the other butters. Okay, we got Muru Muru butter. I love that butter, it's so good. It's got shea butter in it, Argania, Spinoza, Kern oil, black cumin oil, which actually I don't think I've seen that in here in an ingredient list before. It's got rose oil. I mean, the oils just keep going on here. It is truly so hydrating. And again, is going to be more emollient oil rich. Now, if you're thinking, Chloe, I don't think I can use those because I think they're gonna be too heavy on my hair even if I use them lightly because I've, you've got a really fine texture. If that's the case, then I'm going to recommend you try this one right here, which is from Verb. This is their Curl Leave-In. Now, if we go to their ingredient list here, we've got water and sterile alcohol, also a hydrating one, but then we've got polyquaternium 37. Now, I've talked about this in previous videos. Those polyquat type of ingredients are going to help block out the humidity. With the polyquaternium 37, that is actually made to be a form filler. So it's basically gonna cause a film to form on top of your hair to help cause less friction and to help cause less frizz. Now, this does have dimethicone, amodimethicone. I believe it has both actually, let me double check. I know it has amodimethicone, which is, if I were to choose a silicone, I prefer amodimethicone because it will not bind back on top of each other if you use it over and over again, so there's less likelihood for buildup. But no, I'm not seeing any other silicones in here, just the amodimethicone, which again is one of my favorite ones. Then you're also going to see sunflower seed extract. You're gonna see hydrolyzed vegetable protein. And then you're also going to see some other polyquats as well in here. This right here I think is really phenomenal for helping out with anti-humidity. Number one, because of the polyquats. Number two, because of the amodimethicone. Now, before we move on to the gels, which I think is probably the most important part of this video, make sure that you are number one, giving this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. It really does make such a difference on how many curlies we can help on this channel. And then number two, any of the products that we are gonna be talking about today are going to be linked down below. If you have any other questions, always feel free to add them in the comments. But I'm gonna try to go through the gels from the least hold in the lightest, texture to the most hold and strong intensity, okay? So number one is going to be the Weather Up Gel right here from Twist. Now this gel you're going to see is a little bit lighter. This is the consistency of the Weather Up Gel. Now this is made to not be highly moisturizing. It really is just meant to keep out some of that humidity from your curls. And when we go through this, we've got multiple polyquats right at the top. Polyquaternium 11, 37. We have number seven as well. We also have a little hydrolyzed wheat protein. So this is gonna be a really well-balanced product, but I would not recommend just using this alone. I would absolutely recommend using that with a curl cream to make sure you're still getting some hydration in your curls. Next up is Weedad from their climate control line. Now, this right here, this is one that you guys have asked me to review for a long time, and this is one that I did actually bring down when I was in the Dominican Republic. And what I have to say about this is that it did a really good job for anti-humidity. However, the hold was not super strong. I do personally really prefer a strong hold gel because I just, I, I get really dry really easily and because of the high porosity, I just, I really need the high hold. So I think that this one personally, if you have lower porosity hair, I think this is a phenomenal one for you standalone. But if you have higher porosity, I would definitely recommend combining this 
with another hard hold gel and seeing how that goes for you. Now, if we just go look at the ingredients really quickly on this one, you're going to see a lot of those polyquats as well. You're also going to see some protein type ingredients more towards the top. So this one's gonna be a little bit more protein heavy compared to others. So keep that in mind again when you're trying to balance out your different types of products for styling. And then as far as moisturizing ingredients, I do see some castor oil in here that's more towards the bottom and glycerin is in here, but it's really towards the middle to the bottom, which means there's a very light amount of it. So I think this is gonna be great for fine and medium textures and your low porosity curlies. Next up is something that was newer to the market and I'm really liking this. So this one, and also very affordable, this one is Curl Talk, okay? And they've had a gel before, but now they have this one, which is their hard hold gel. And as you can see, they have a little guide here that's telling us that this is a level five hold, okay? And I have to agree, it is very hard hold. It is strong, okay? So when you're looking at this, now this is an ingredient with the polyquats. There are different numbers on the end of these polyquaternium ingredients. And the number 69, I have found it does add a little bit of a thicker film on the hair. So just know that you might feel a little bit of a residual product buildup feel when you're using any of these gels that have the polyquaternium 69 ingredient towards the top. And I think if I'm not mistaken, all the ones that I'm gonna be talking about now, yes, all of them do have polyquaternium 69. What I recommend when you use these is use them when your hair is really, really wet. And if you're going to be using them for refreshing, make sure you wet them down a little bit to just keep them not quite as thick as they're gonna come out because when you see these textures, I'm gonna show this to you, they don't really move. They're just very, very thick textures. And you can even see that it's just, yeah, it's a it's a very thick, um, a, not an emollient texture, but it's almost like a true jelly type, uh, type of texture, okay? So these right here, I do think are amazing for your curly to coily type textures. If you have a wavy curl pattern, to a finer medium texture. I would say those two right here were probably better for you. These next ones are gonna be a lot better for our coarser textures, our high porosity curlies, and our type threes to fours, I would say. So Curl Talk, if you're looking for affordability, this one is phenomenal, very, very affordable. Does have a little bit of a, I personally think a little bit more of a chemically smell, but also, my smell has been messed up since I had COVID last year. So don't quote me on that. Keep in mind, any of these gels you want to put on top of your cream products, not the other way around. Cream, then gel, always. Now, this one right here does have their Rice Curl Complex. So that means it does include a little bit of protein. So it's got your keratin amino acids and your Oriza Sativa Rice Extract, okay? So not so much on anything that's going to be hydrating. Again, keep that in mind. Now, the next two I'm gonna talk about pretty much at the same time because in my opinion, I think these are almost like identical when it comes to like how they work. These are both from Carl Smith. This one right here, I think this was launched two years ago and this is their in shower style fixer. And then this one launched literally just within the last couple months. And this is from their shine line. Mm. Look at that. They do say that they have different levels of hold. The shine formula, they say at level nine and the in shower style fixer, they're calling level 10, which their scale only goes up to 10. So they're saying this is the strongest of the strongest hold. Now let's just compare the ingredients in here. We've got water, then polyquaternium 69, both at the top, then glycerin, then PEG 40, okay? And then castor oil, y'all. Like the most important ingredients in here on the first line or two are identical, okay? The main difference here that you're gonna see is that this is fragrance free. This is not, this is their more classic fragrance. Yep, classic fragrance right here. As you do get it down into the other ingredients here, it does get a little bit more different. This just has more ingredients in it, which is not surprising, especially with the fragrance and the fact that it's saying that this is the strongest 
hold. This is significantly fewer, so if you are very sensitive, if you break out easily, if fragrance bothers you easily, then I would go for this one. But in all actuality, I think these are almost identical. Now, we are through the gels. Now, we're gonna go into just kind of some refreshing products. I've only got two to talk about here, and then we're gonna go into a couple oils. As one that is really meant to be a true refresh product, this is also from the Advanced Climate Control line from We Dad, and as you can see, it's got a separation. So they're calling this a bi-phase, re restore and revive bi-phase spray, okay? I really liked this as a very light refresher, but that's truly what it is. I don't really feel like it did a ton, but it was a really nice refresher just to give you that little bit of extra without adding extra weight down to your hair. Now on the other side, and this is gonna be a completely different type of product, is the Verb Volume Dry Spray. Now, I do not travel without a volumizing spray. I do not, if I do, I will go find one and I will buy one because it really does just make such a difference. Now, what you're gonna do with this, you need to shake it number one, and then number two, you put it it kind of down in here, not quite at the root, but a little bit lower. And then you just go in with your fingertips and you just judge it. I've probably showed this to you guys a ton of times. So if you're, if you're used to seeing my channel, you're probably like, oh yeah, I've been there, done that, probably already own it. <laughs> but it really does just add such good root volume. And if you're finding that your hair is getting weighed down, especially during like a humid vacation, this can add just a little bit of extra oomph for you so you get some of that control back in your hair. Now, the last three products we're gonna talk about are oils, okay? So now oils wise, if I'm gonna tell you my favorite one, is gonna be the ghost oil, okay? This is from Verb, their ghost oil. It is phenomenal. It does have silicones in it, so just keep that in mind. I do think that's really helpful for humid environments. This one is just so nice because it's very lightweight. I like to just pray your hands it right over top, okay, of my curls, and it just adds that little bit of extra barrier and additional shine. It's got amazing oils in it. It's got that little bit of, I think it's called dimethicanol, and then it also does have a phenol trimethicone. I think we should really do a deep dive video on silicones and really just digest what silicones really mean for curls and do they really add that much buildup? Because in all honesty, they don't. And I just think that it's something that's been villainized in the curly community for a long time and really doesn't need to be. So this would be my number one, but if we were to talk about some other options, Olaplex is great if you wanna add the bonding side to it. This one's fantastic, and you really don't need very much of it. You, However, this is more expensive, and I would say for hum humid blocking, I would recommend this over this, but it is a really great oil. And then the other one that is brand new, and I used this in a top bun look while I was on vacation, and it did a phenomenal job is the new Sol de Janeiro hair oil. It's called Brazilian Glossy Nourishing Hair Oil. Enhances shine, fights frizz, deeply moisturizes, and y'all, my bun was popping. It was shining and glowing. It was so good. For this one, this is a lot more truly oily, oh, and it's got that amazing Sol de Janeiro signature scent. It just it smells so good. I would say that this one is another really fantastic one if you're looking for that high shine and you're wanting something that is a little bit more like vacation vibes, this one is fantastic. It really does add a ton of shine. But again, my top one for anti-humidity is gonna still be the Verb Ghost Oil. Now, before we go, there's something that's really important that I wanna discuss with you. And that's that when you're on vacation, you don't always have to give an F about your hair. Okay, and I know that's like the antithesis of probably this video, but I just want you to know that your hair is not always going to look perfect on vacation in a new environment or sometimes in humidity as you're learning a new environment. Say you move to a humid environment or it's really humid during the summer, it's really humid by us in Wisconsin during the summer. And sometimes I say F it and I'm like, I'm putting my hair up. So if you are one of those people who are going on vacation and you're really worried about your curls, here is just my main tip to you try to get like a couple days where you really get some like cute curl photos and like maybe like a cute dinner outfit or something like that you really want to like have your curls popping for but also don't get too mad at yourself if you're like 
I just can't deal with this right now and I just wanna put it up. Shameless plug here. Grab yourself a curl friend scrunchie, okay? These are really good for your hair. These are pure silk. They're from my line. I'm gonna show you here. I'll, I'll show you the emerald one. How pretty is she? Like also, like she just makes my eyes look really green. But don't be afraid to pop your hair up into a high bun, okay? I do this all the time on vacation. It's like my go-to style just a quick high bun. And then if you want to do some extra curl protection, you can also do a silk scarf and you can do something like that. You could also just do a high poof. That'll just do that one time around, but you can do this and that just protects it a little bit. And then if you want extra protection, girl, get yourself a silk scarf. If you want, get one from my line. This is from my Curlfriend Collective line as well, but you can get them, I mean, all over the place if you if this one's not quite your vibe, but I think she's gorgeous, and I actually styled her a bunch of different ways while I was in the Dominican Republic. I'll actually pop up some pictures here. I wore her as a sarong, I wore her as a top, and then I also wore her as, I think, a headband and a bonnet protection while I was out on the beach. And so I'm gonna just show you how I I did that here. I think this is like such an easy and beautiful way to protect your curls without adding extra kinks to them and protecting them against humidity, but like really cute. So I'm just gonna show you how I did this, okay? I'm going to take, this is a square scarf. It's 35 by 35 inches. We're going to fold it into a triangle, okay? So we've got one end of the triangle here. It's folded in on itself. We're gonna flip over, put this on the nape of your neck, Pull it up and around to your forehead, okay? Swap those around and then pull it back. You should have the top of that handkerchief up at the top of your curls. You see how I'm pulling that up? So now this other part that we're gonna tie around, we're gonna tie around like that. So it's basically gonna hold it all in place. You can knot that however you'd like. And then now we've got all this curl, okay? So some of you might have just as much hair as me, some of you might have more, some of you might have less. So now we're gonna, tame the beast, okay? So we're going to take that top and we're gonna stuff our curls back in here. And so once we've gotten the top, we're going to stuff it back into this front part of the headband. You can kind of finesse a little bit if you'd like. I think I may have gotten this a little bit loose around my face. So I do might recommend making sure this is really nice and tight to keep everything where you want it. So we're just going to tuck all of those curls in here where it's basically like a covered bun. And then all your curls are really nice and protected by silk that's not going to cause extra frizz. It's going to be a nice barrier for you. And I have a picture of me on the beach like this when I was just sitting out on my lounger and it just works super nicely. And then when you take it down, it's not gonna cause any knots, kinks or anything. It just comes out really easily and beautifully. Maybe I wanna be ready for a photo for dinner later tonight, so I'm gonna protect them now and then wear them out later. So you can kinda of choose when you're really trying to rock the most out of your curls. So I really hope this gives you a few products that you wanna try for potentially your next vacation or for you to try at home if you live in that humid environment. And if you haven't made a Curl Friend Collective purchase before, I would be happy to give you a discount code. I'm gonna give you code CHLOE10 and that's gonna give you 10% off your first purchase from my store and I really appreciate it. I know so many of you have already bought from Curlfriend Collective and I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting us because it's been such a fun journey starting this and I just, I, I love bringing out products for you guys that I know are missing in the market for our specific curl types. So again, all products, any discount codes I have are gonna be linked down in the description and I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and until next week, I will see you then. Bye guys.